Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up okay so first of all don't mind that mess in the background I'm gonna be filming another video after this one so just ignore that at like it's not even there but today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a review of two new products from L'Oreal well actually one of them is actually new to the market the other one just got introduced new shades um so this is the l'oreal paris infallible pro matte foundation a lot of people are familiar with this foundation because it's one of the drugstore's best foundations out there especially for oily skin so a lot of people are familiar with this foundation but as you guys can see the packaging is different than what it used to be they introduced new shades to this line so they now have half shades so the shade that i got is 111.5 nutmeg so they introduced shades in between some of the existing shades already in the line i got this from walmart and i believe it was about nine dollars if i'm not mistaken so it's still the same or it's supposed to still be the same formula and everything they just changed the packaging and they added shades to it so it's still a matte finish oil free air light waterproof transfer resistant sweat resistant color stays true which means it does not oxidize and medium coverage shine control all of that it's a whole lot so this is a lot of people's favorite foundation like i said because it's actually really good like all of those claims that it has is actually really spot on with everything that they're claiming that this foundation does this used to be my favorite foundation but that was before i really realized how bad the color was for me i used to get the shade 112 coco and that was a horrible match for me it was too red it was too dark you know it just didn't match me and at the time when i didn't know any better about makeup i thought that i was popping because the actual formula was great but the color was not okay so today i got a new shade and this shade isn't perfect 100 spot on for me but you guys are gonna see in the demo it all comes together so that's the first product and then the next product is the new l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder long name but this is what she looks like and this is brand new to the market so this is their powder foundation to go along with their infallible fresh wear liquid foundation which i love absolutely adore i'm actually all out of that foundation i need to go and repurchase it but they have existing shades to match up with the shades of the actual foundation. So in the liquid foundation, I wear 515 copper. So for the powder foundation, I got the shade 365 copper. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you guys this product as well. This is a full matte coverage, waterproof foundation powder, or you can use it um, as a powder to just put on top of your foundation however you want to wear it so i'm going to be showing you guys this as well i love this red packaging it's really sleek and really nice so i'm going to be demoing this on my face today and let you guys know what i think about these two products so if you guys are interested in that then just keep on watching getting started i'm going to use the l'oreal infallible matte lock long wear mattifying primer so this is kind of like it kind of comes out looking like a moisturizer, but it actually dries down to a matte finish. Um, I don't feel like it does as much as other primers in my collection, but because we're using a bunch of L'Oreal products and brands tend to make their products all work with each other, I decided to keep it all in the L'Oreal family. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I'm putting that all over my skin and then i'm also gonna go in with my elf poreless putty primer just to further smooth out my skin and give me a nice flawless base okay so now going in with the actual foundation now i feel like these two products are just a tad dark for my skin tone even though this is a shade in between I believe it's called soft sable and then the very last shade which is cocoa this is in between those two and i still feel like it's a tad dark for me but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work um same thing for the powder i just feel like it's a smidge dark but that's the same way i felt about the actual l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation i had the shade 515 copper 
um, which is the same shade as this one. This one is 365, but it's still copper. And I just felt like the Fresh Wear foundation was a tad dark for me, but I still could make it work. And after highlighting and contouring and doing everything, it looked really good. So that's the same thing I'm gonna do for these products today. So I took about that much foundation, which to me equates to about two pumps, which is what I always use for most of my foundations. So as you guys can see, it's like a tad darker than me. The good thing about it though is it does not oxidize. I will say that um, it doesn't oxidize. So I don't have to worry about it getting any darker than this. And if it looks like it's matching perfect on camera, great. <laughs> but it doesn't actually match me perfectly. One thing I can say about this foundation is very much blendable with a brush or a sponge. Um, I just like using my sponge. Sometimes I switch between brushes and sponges. It all depends on my mood. I like both, you know. Um, a sponge is just quicker and I feel like it's easier to get, you know, a really flawless finish with a sponge. A brush you have to, you know, work a little bit harder, but it does come out looking super flawless when you do get it all blended in with a brush. So on camera it doesn't look that bad, but in person it's a tad darker than my skin and it's also red as well. So this is what that foundation looks like on my skin. You guys, it is really flawless. It's matte. It's a medium coverage um, right off the bat. On the back it says, yeah, it says that it's a medium coverage and it says that it's a matte finish and I definitely agree with both of those because it looks really good on the skin and I really do like it. When it um, settles down onto my skin, like when it actually dries all of the way, it is definitely transfer resistant. We're gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off um, the rest of my makeup after I apply the Infallible Fresh Wear Powder. I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup so you guys can see how everything comes together. All right, you guys, so I do bake with the L'Oreal Infallible um, Full Wear Concealer. I just like the way it looks when I actually bake. So now we can move on to the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. So I'm gonna use a somewhat um, fluffy yet dense powder brush to kind of stipple it onto my skin because that's the way that I like to apply my pressed powder. So let's see how it does. Okay, so it definitely gives coverage to the skin and color, obviously, because it's not like a translucent powder, but it definitely gives more coverage to the skin as well. And it has me looking super, super matte, probably because I'm already using it on top of a matte foundation, but can you guys see the flawlessness that is this skin? You guys, Look at my skin after I applied that powder. It really has my skin looking super smooth and nice. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away um, the loose translucent powder with the brush. Y'all, my skin looks absolutely flawless and soft and airbrushed. Ooh, y'all. I think I might have a new favorite powder. So this is a full matte coverage waterproof powder. So that's what's up. It's waterproof as well. I'm talking about the flawless coverage it just gave me. Okay, my skin looks amazing. I love this. Okay, so y'all know the deal, y'all know the drill. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then we can come back and talk about these products. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and completed my full face of makeup. This is everything. Y'all already know it's gonna be listed in the description box if you're interested about any of the other makeup details on my face. 
but um, I'm not gonna be doing a wear test today because I already know how this foundation wears um, and I'm not really doing a wear test of the powder just because I care about what the powder makes my skin look like not necessarily how it's gonna wear because the true test of wear is the actual foundation underneath of the powder but you guys i am so thoroughly impressed with this powder and how flawless it made my skin look how everything blended on top of it my bronzer my blush my highlighter this this is the start of the show like okay i love the foundation the foundation is nice um i do wish that the shade was a little bit better of a match. I mean, it's not bad once everything is done, but I do wish the shade was a little bit better of a match, but I am happy that they even came out with more shades to begin with. But the powder is the star of the show. I am so thoroughly impressed with this powder, how flawless it makes my skin look, how airbrushed it makes my skin look, the amount of coverage that it gives to it. And if this is actually um, waterproof, like they say, if that's the case, if it's waterproof, it better also be transfer resistant and everything. It doesn't say if it is or it isn't, but if it's waterproof, then it better be transfer resistant as well. Um, just everything about the powder and the way that it sat on my skin, the way that it applied to my skin. Y'all, I am so thoroughly impressed and I don't have no words for it. This is flawless. I'm gonna zoom y'all in so y'all can see again how everything is sitting on the skin. I am so thoroughly impressed with the way my skin looks, okay? It's matte but it doesn't look dehydrated it just looks really really nice i am so happy with this y'all this might be my new favorite combination okay i like this tell me i look good tell me my skin looks good because it do you ain't gotta lie it do Okay, guys, so that's everything that I have for this video. You guys already know my thoughts on both of these products. Absolutely love the foundation. I always have loved this foundation from the first time it came out. It just was not the right shade for me. And this foundation powder, powder foundation, this powder is now one of my new favorites. Definitely going to be in my rotation. It's kicking out my Maybelline Superstay and it's kicking out my Maybelline Fit Me. And you guys know I'm, I'm always using those powders, but this... This is now the new fave. This is now in the current rotation. So y'all go out and get these new products. I definitely recommend them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as well as leave me a comment down below letting me know if you're going to try these products, if you already have tried them, if you're loving them, all that good stuff. If you're new, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.